How's it YouTube? Howdy, how are you? Okay, so today we're gonna do really quick. We're gonna install EBC brake pads for the Ninja 300. That's the model number EBC. These are centered brake pads, metallic. It helps if you have your service manual. You can get the PDF online or uh, buy the book. So, first thing we have to do is we're going to use a 5 millimeter Allen socket here. We're going to loosen this up. I'll probably have to use a breaker bar, but we'll see. There we go. Always use six point sockets for six point bolts. Always. I should say nuts. I think these are bolts though. You never want to use the 12 points unless you have to. And even then, it's better not to. How do we take this off? Oh, I think the pins have to come all the way out. Yeah, so the pins have to come all the way out. These are the pins. And you can see that the pins are going all the way through and holding these pads in. So just remove these. Now the Ninja 300 only has a single side disc, so this job will be pretty easy. Okay, when you're removing the pins, they're not just going to come out on their own. You actually have to use like an Allen key and push as you unscrew. Otherwise they'll just spin freely and they won't come out. So just push as you unscrew and then they'll eventually come out. Whoops. How's that for easy exit? After that, these things just came out. There's the inside of it. Okay, and then you install your new... These are your new brake pads, so... The inner one goes here. The one without... The one without this thingy here. Okay, here we're just trying to fit it on to the disc. And I don't know if I'm doing this right, but this is tricky. Because the EBCs are a little thicker. Just took some finagling. Use the disc to help separate it. Okay, and the caliper mounting bolts. It's 18 foot pounds. There we go, 18. Not very tight, but tight enough. See, sometimes you're using a torque wrench, not just so you don't get it tight enough, but sometimes you so you don't over tighten. You don't want to over tighten stuff either. So you always got to use a torque wrench for this stuff. Okay, now this is 12.7. One thing I learned doing this is you don't want to use a torque wrench as a breaker bar. I now have a breaker bar, so. Okay, so this is 12 point. Oops. I didn't get a good seal in there. And that felt awful. Shit. Okay. Ah, fuck. Did I strip it? Ah, I think I did. Okay, so install is complete. It's pretty basic. One thing though that I just did you need to not do is I stripped this bolt because I had this big old torque wrench and I didn't have it I didn't have it placed in far enough. And then with the torque you can't really feel how much pressure you're applying, so I basically rounded out the inside. I think it's okay as far as tightness. But now I need to order a new part, and note to self, don't do that again. So make sure you don't repeat that mistake. Make sure it's all the way seated before you try to rotate it and be nice and gentle. If it's not centered, it'll twist off like that and you could round it off, and then you can't tighten it or really loosen it. So I'm gonna order a new bolt, and I'm gonna use a bolt extractor next time I need to remove it when the bolt comes in, when I need to replace it. <clears throat> Once you do the install of the brakes, the pads, you're gonna have to pump your brakes, make sure you have brake pressure. When I first squeezed this, it just, you know, didn't do anything. And then go ahead and ride it around and bed it in. 
you're gonna have to bed it in with braking though just riding it won't do it obviously you have to actually brake with the front brake get it bedded in less at least 50 to 100 miles the instructions are right on the EBC packet and uh, you will be good to go and that's basically it for the EBC brake install Right now the brakes are awful because they're not bedded in yet. I am trying to give an impression of the EBCs, but it might be too early to do that. So this is me just bedding them in. You gotta bed in brakes for about 50 miles or so before they're gonna be bedded to the rotors. It takes a while. Come on, magnetic thingamajig. Nothing like sitting at a light when you have a no right turn on red and the thing doesn't know you're here. I might just have to go anyway. People come flying around this fucking corner. Okay, let's do some braking. No one behind me. Just front brake, no rear brake. I'm just giving the brake pad something to do. The brake return is still working fine. I can still roll the bike uphill, so that's good. I gotta make sure the brake isn't isn't on or dragging, so I'm taking the corners kind of slow until I know the brakes are okay. They seemed a little thick when I put them on. I don't think they're dragging at all, though. Did that guy run the stop sign? I think he did. Right now I got a mirror full of elbow. I gotta fix that. I don't know how fast I'll see a difference in the EBCs, but I expect I'll see a difference pretty soon. The idea is to get more bite Less brake fade, better braking performance, even one foot increased performance is better. I expect it'll be more than that once everything's bedded in. Then I'll get the stainless lines to go with that. You gotta have the stainless steel lines, sometimes called SS lines on forums. Then I'll have less loss of brake pressure. You never want to backfire like that around a cop, do you? Braking is adequate right now, even though they're not bedded in, so I have to tell you, I really do like this bike. Remember there was a time when, nice Bentley, remember there was a time I was going to get rid of this bike, I was considering it, I was considering a 500. Now, I'm pretty enamored with it. After that ride at ACH, where the bike felt really, really good on corners, I feel really good about this bike. The clip-ons, I keep saying this, have made all the difference for me. Without the clip-ons, I don't think I would have wanted to keep it. I would have I would have tried to find a bike with a riding position that I was used to. Now, okay, I'm gonna take it easy here. This is the last day of school. Gotta take it easy. Even if parents are jaywalking.
We're getting plenty of break time though with the EBCs. There's a new bug, a new beetle. Nice. Nice car. I don't know if it was the turbo or not, but it's really nice. See, sometimes, you know, cars will beat you off the line. But this thing will scoot past them. Especially with the quick shifter, my friend.